All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. This guy's been getting a lot of use, but it ain't about freedom. It's about getting the job done, which is one of the reasons why you haven't seen a video come out uh, from me in a long time. To be perfectly honest with you, the world we live in right now is so damn awful. I'm almost ready to just to go wake me up when the shooting starts because I'm ready to go. So in any case, uh, no, I have not given up the YouTube thing. It has nothing to do with being demonetized. I am going to get with CloverTac, and he and I are going to go over a couple things when I eventually do have the time to dedicate to it. But uh, it, it's been a lot of work with the real job lately, which just doesn't allow me to have a whole lot of spare time. And I'll be honest with you, after a 10 or 12 hour day, I'm mentally drained. And the last thing I want to do is have to turn it on find something related to, I don't know, the Supreme Court or whatever is going on. Uh, but in any case, that's, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do videos in the future. i got about two more weeks of this extreme workload that I'm having to do. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to sit down and have a chat with you guys, show you what we do have coming up because... The review stuff is stockpiling. It's just, it's moving and moving and moving. So I just wanted to give you a real quick glimpse on what we've got coming up in the future. Yeah, clean shaven, uh, coffee, Bojangles iced tea, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I uh, want to start off with this. This is pretty cool. This is from the guys over there at uh, Optics Planet. This is their uh, tribe defense. This is a magnesium alloy type material it's not all magnesium alloy it's a little it doesn't dent or scratch or etch like it does but it is very light so we're going to build a couple rifles around this guy and uh do some tests on it and uh, it, it comes with a really nice knurled barrel nut and one of my biggest pet peeves guys you know is flex uh, from the barrel nut and then the alignment across the top and along the upper receiver those are big on me so we'll see if this guy passes the test or not should be interesting um, another thing that I have coming up and I got a whole bunch of crap just stacked up around me a lot of uh, primary arm stuff we're gonna be doing a review on this guy right here this is the SLX 1 to 8 first focal plane but this has the uh, Griff X mill reticle in it now, is this better than the uh, ACSS or the Raptor? We'll find out. I'm actually going to take two identical rifles. We're going to mount these, one of the Raptor, one with this guy, and see which one is faster. And I'll give you a, a first focal or a first view through this thing while we're taking it to the range. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, so got another thing here. This is the 3 to 18 by 50. This has the Apollo reticle set up for the 308 or 65 Grendel. I have a 65 Grendel and I got a lot of 65 Grendel rounds. So we're going to see how this guy works out. Now, speaking of this one, this is the SLX. Um, working in conjunction with my buddy uh, Crazy Scotsman, we're still looking to raffle this guy off. This is a 65 Creedmoor. This is the Live Free Armory upper rail frame and receiver set. Put this together. I have a couple functioning issues with this. this. Is why we haven't sent this up yet, but we're gonna raffle this thing off for Justin Fitch, 22 a day, raise money for that organization. I've got a really cool muzzle brake that we're gonna put on this thing. That's gonna go with it, and it, you're gonna like the hell out of that. Unfortunately, it's up in Pennsylvania, and this is in North Carolina. It also has, uh, well, it's gonna have the SLX Apollo reticle set up for the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, and we're going to show you how this thing goes from 100 to 1,000 yards, lickety split. All right. Um, what else have we got? Uh, let's see. Ah, I have this guy. <laughs> oh, it looks like my twin, huh? So we're going to take this thing. This is an anatomically correct skull with the ballistic gel surrounding the whole thing. You can see it does have a spine. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to take it out, and I just want you guys to let me know what you think. Should I shoot it with the 7.5 FK Bruno or the Fort Scott Munitions uh, spun copper 9mm? We still got to do a full-blown test on this thing, man. This is the FK Bruno chambered in 7.5. It it hurts to shoot this gun. It's a lot of fun, but you do have the 9mm barrel. We're going to load up some special rounds to shoot this because you really want to shoot 9mm plus. And this guy, 
lot of people I've talked to, uh, uh, they don't like the ergonomics. I got big, long thumbs. I don't mind. All right, so we're going to do that. Uh, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, test out. This is uh, thanks to the guys over at Optics Planet. They sent me the Romeo 3 XL. And from what I understand, all the problems of the uh, turrets, uh, the adjustments have been solved. I like this thing because it comes with a pick rail uh, attachment point on the bottom. But I am planning, where are you? Uh, to mount it to this guy right here. This is a live free armory slide. If you can look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, I like the XL. It's a little bit bigger and uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, this is the Holosun ACSS uh, Vulcan with the circle dot. Speaking of which, we're going to be testing out one of those because we picked one up in the green. So this is going to be a lot of fun. we got a lot of circle dots. The cool thing is Live Free Armory uh, is shooting out a 19 slide. A Glock 19 slide basically looks almost identical to this, which may take the place of my 19X slide. I don't know. We'll see how well I like it, but I like this pistol. This thing is set up absolutely beautiful. Uh, ghost trigger, ghost tactical trigger. I love the high rise sights and that uh, the Vulcan reticle with the circle and the chevron is just absolutely incredible, especially if you're laying in an adverse position. You know which way that dot needs to go. All right, what else we got? All right, so we built a new rifle <laughs> because, you know, we have to. This guy right here. This is all carbon fiber, uh, Lancer handguard, and then a proof research one and seven twist barrel. Uh, also topped off, this is the primary arms. This is their ACSS DMR HUD. And I want to see how it equals out with the 77 grain. It should be interesting. And we've got a Lancer uh, bolt carrier group, uh, Timmy trigger in this thing. It's about a half, one and a half pound. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this could end up being the new DMR rifle. I'm not sure. That's probably going to fall. I might have to do push-ups while we're on here. Um, also, one of the things I've been working on for quite some time now, I want y'all to look at this. Look on right here. This is like a sleeve, and it's adjustable gas block. Uh, this is on a Criterion barrel ultradyne muzzle brake. Uh, this is a UTG handguard. I like this. This is their new knurled one. I got a couple of these things. And then we've got uh, the, uh, what do you call it? I can't, it's, I can't remember well, who's got everything on this one. I've had pulled this upper off of another one just to develop this rifle. There's a couple different sleeves that you put on here, uh, different lengths. Uh, they will work with a slimline handguard. So this is going to be fun to test out in the field. Kyle, haven't forgotten about you. All right, what else we got? Ah, uh, my good friend, uh, Ethan Manning sent this out to the channel. This is the GMR15. This is nine millimeter PCCR. I actually had this when we went and shot down at the Two Gun Nationals. I would have been a lot better off had I probably used this versus the rifle that I tried to build and I was trying to compare if I could build a rifle to comparable to this one. Uh, this has actually got a really cool barrel on it. It's only like five and a half inches, but it's a shroud all the way out. This has got the uh, Mark III handguard, their uh, roller uh, trigger on this, and I topped it off with a Hall Sun. It does have the side charger, which is really cool right there if you can see. Look, yeah, uh-huh. Um, cool thing about this is I like it so much, I bought it. Oh, yeah. These, these aren't gimme rifles. These aren't ones they just send out, but I like this one so much. I wanted it in my inventory. Uh, it's got just one of the best rifles altogether. Um, the Hall Sun, this thing is huge, and you got a good big window in that one. All right. So we got, we're going to do a review on that. Nine millimeter. Speaking of nine millimeter, the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics, don't forget KB32. TAC, I believe it is, the discount code. You can get on my website, kb32tac.com. These guys right here. Now, this is cool. They make 9mm, 5.56, all kinds. Of, and they're working on a 6.5 Creedmoor. I've got to take some of those rounds out and test them. But look what now they got. 38 Special. How about that? Um, so we're going to take those out, blast some rounds. I might shoot that skull with that if there's anything left. It'd be a lot of fun. And, okay, so the whole plethora 
of really cool stuff from primary arms. Of course, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven optics to pick out. Now, check this out. This is one of my premium rifles that I've, I always put together. I've got four of these that I put together. Now, this one has got the new magnifier plus the SLX with the ACSS reticle. Now, the great application. Um, what's the advantage of going with the flip side versus a one to eight uh, power scope? Um, CQB purposes, if you want to go ahead and just stick with the dot, a lot of times that's the way to go. The cool part about the ACSS reticle is if you drop this thing, you're instantly at the three power and you have the BDC included on that reticle. So we're gonna be doing a full blown range review on this and maybe even put it up against some timed uh, shooting with the uh, one uh, low power variable optic versus this guy. So I'm really excited about this. Um, huh. What else we got? Ladies and gentlemen, Palmetto State Armory. Look at this bad boy right here. This is their uh, GF3 with the beautifully knurled wood. I'm, I will tell you this right now. I absolutely love this little deal right here. Just picked this up the other day. Um, I like AKs. It's always good to have one. The trigger, as always, is absolutely beautifully smooth. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the CMMG Banshee. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. I think this has got like a five inch barrel or something on it. We'll take this thing out and show it how to rock and roll. Hold on one second. That's my good friend Steve Rodriguez from EC Defense. Hold on. Steve, I, I'm on on the I'm doing a video right now, but who makes that head? Uh, that is Ballistic Dummy Labs. Ballistic Dummy Labs makes this head. So we'll be thanks, Steve. Uh, Steve with EC Defense Food Dog. What's what's the name of your Instagram channel? It is Food Dogs Defensive Tactics. Food Dogs Defensive Tactics. Got to watch out for this guy, man. He's like uh, got the uh, Israeli Defense Force uh, trained, so. Anyway, that's it. Thanks, Steve. I'll be right back with you. Yes, sir. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. All right. So anyway, in that, I, the first thing I did was try to see if the mouth opened. Don't ask me why. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So other than the politics, it just really drains. I don't know how people do that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we got to uh, do the review on this guy. It's a lot of fun. Only complaint about it is I think the trigger is way heavy, but I'm used to running competition triggers. So with that said, we have not stopped the YouTube channel. We're just taking a slight break to focus, be laser focused on the real job and what I've got going on in my life. Uh, but we're going to be able to get about another week or so. We'll be back out at the range. Uh, it's going to be some nice, cool weather. I'm going to have to compete with all the deer hunters out there because, you know, they just don't know if that zero is different from it was the way it was a year ago. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Clever Tech, I'll be giving you a shot here very shortly. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good.